there are many schools available in these countries. The challenge with the kids that we work with is that we have to change their mindset from one of begging and stealing every day on the street to being able to commit to a long-term educational path. So MindLibs try to engage conversation with both categories of kids and attract them with the dance. Dance is the key entry in our program. Once they get in the center, we start like our dance curriculum to develop cognitive skills. Uh, we measure seven cognitive and non-cognitive skills. On the cognitive side, we're looking at memorization and language. On the non-cognitive side, skills ranging from grit to teamwork and collaboration to self-esteem. MindLimps is really doing is coming in and kind of tapping into that rhythm and music and right side of the brain and really kind of creating that bridge over into the left side of the brain because they are working to develop language. The skills that we teach them in the dance studio are the same learning skills that they need to accomplish anything. The sequencing of information that these kids learn through kinesthetic movement is the same type of learning skill these kids need in an educational environment. Having the kids come in first with the dance to work towards being disciplined and committed then earns them the right to take IT and English. So it isn't just an automatic part of the program for the kids and I think that's what's different. We've had many success stories. One of my very favorites is the story of Manishi Moe. Manishi Moe literally went from the streets into our dance center and fell in love with these dance classes and then fell in love with learning. The uniqueness of the program is the fact that they are actively gathering data about cognitive and non-cognitive skills on a regular basis for all students. We partnered with Carnegie Mellon University to create a data application that would allow us to collect data in real time. So what we did with the app that was designed by the students at Carnegie Mellon was to move from that more kind of paper-based uh, manual entering of data through to an app. I'd say it's very rare that anyone would be measuring on a monthly basis. So finding someone that was measuring kind of educational uh, achievement on a daily basis and then being able to put that on a website and show it just makes everything much closer to home and people can see the real benefit that MindLeaps has been having. It's definitely something I haven't seen before. We were really surprised with some of the results of the data. We saw that kids directly off the street were increasing their skills by more than 100% in three months. All of the skills are increasing from the baseline to month three and then they increase one more time into month six. Really from month one to month six, we're seeing this giant increase uh, that's statistically significant. MindLeaps is now a proven model that has data to support it. That means that we have the chance to serve hundreds and thousands of kids around the world with this program. So we're taking them from a situation where in a certain way they're lost. And now they're not just found, they have found themselves and they can design their own future. If they go through this program, they are assured of a real, a good future. And every child certainly deserves that.